Well, my friends, unfortunately, there is some incredibly tough news making the rounds in the Android world. Unfortunately, I am super sad to say that Nova Launcher, an app that has been a staple for Android enthusiasts for over a decade, is officially shutting down development with the founder and original developer Kevin Barry announcing they are leaving the project altogether. If you've been a part of the Android ecosystem, you've probably heard of Nova Launcher at some point, and you would know this is a huge blow to the loyal fans that enjoyed the service for so many years now. It's a sad story that's worth talking about out of the sheer respect alone. So real quick, let's go over exactly what happened and why this loss is officially the end of an era for the Android operating system. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with all this Android news in general, consider subscribing to the 9to5Google YouTube channel because we have a lot more content like this coming your way. First things first, I have to say Nova Launcher has been in my life ever since I got my first real Android device in the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. At the time, it had the best possible hardware you could get, but I hated TouchWiz, which was absolutely awful depending on who you asked. So Nova Launcher was perfect for me to get the best possible software experience with the best hardware available. The reason I bring this up is because Nova Launcher fulfilled the needs of hundreds of thousands of Android users in the same exact situation. I was in. Originally released in mid-2011, it slowly built up a strong, loyal fan base over the years, and Nova Launcher would ultimately hit over 100 million downloads in its lifespan. What made Nova so good was its near limitless customization, it ran incredibly smooth, was consistently getting updates, and overall just became the go-to launcher for Android enthusiasts that wanted to tinker and have complete control over their experience. However, some real issues started to come up close to the end of Nova Launcher's lifespan. In 2022, the popular Android launcher was acquired by an analytics firm called Branch. At the time of the acquisition, Branch made several public commitments to the community, assuring them that the original team would remain in complete control and that development would continue business as usual. And there was even a public promise that if the founder, Kevin Barry, were ever to leave, the code would be open sourced and given to the community. All of that sounded good at the time, but unfortunately, we saw our first major red flag years later in 2024 when Branch announced company-wide layoffs that affected everyone working on Nova at the time. Out of a 12-person development team, founder Kevin Barry was the only one left to maintain the project and there was no longer anyone working on customer support, public relations, or other aspects of the business. All of this led to the final announcement on September 6, 2025, where Kevin Berry confirmed he left Branch altogether and was no longer involved with Nova Launcher. In his farewell message, he shared that not only had he been the only person working on Nova for the past year, but he was also ultimately asked by Branch to stop his work on both the launcher and his efforts to make it open source. So with no active developer and no open source future, at least at this time, the app's development has unfortunately come to a close. And hearing that news, it really does make me step back a bit. It makes me remember why Nova became a legend in the first place. To understand why this feels like such a big loss, you have to remember what Android was like back in the day. The OS experience wasn't as nearly refined as it is today. Every manufacturer was relatively new at this and was still figuring things out, like LG, HTC, Samsung, they all had drastically different and often bloated takes on Android. Some were good, don't get me wrong, but most were famously overcluttered, like Samsung's TouchWiz, for example. It was frankly awful during the Galaxy S3 to S5 era, and that's being kind. But with Nova, you could at least have some kind of consistency. It became a home base for a lot of users, and more than that, it allowed for super Super deep customization. You could change the icon grid, the app drawer, gestures, animations, the dock, you could add custom icon shapes and notification badges, so much more than what a stock launcher would allow, giving every user a super unique setup. It was an old school Android favorite because it consistently exceeded the capabilities of stock launchers and it perfectly captured the spirit of early Android, a time where you got the operating system specifically to tinker and play around with it. This is actually one of the reasons I got into Android in the first place. When I was as a kid, I begged my mom for a hand-me-down iPhone because jailbreaking was so cool at the time. But then I saw MKBHD and other content creators showing off all the wild things you could do on Android with the personalization, the control, 
the features, the options. Needless to say, I switched to Android and I never looked back. A huge part of that magic was indeed Nova Launcher. And it wasn't just a niche thing either. There was a whole culture around it. The community was constantly sharing home screen builds. There were entire genres of tech videos on YouTube dedicated to the coolest Nova Launcher setups. It was a creative outlet and it was a real genuine community. And that brings us to today and an uncertain future. The big question I think is on everyone's minds is what happens now? While there was a public promise to open source the code, the situation is a bit complicated. The original CEO who made that promise, co-founder Alex Austin, left the company in 2023. According to new information from The Verge, Cliff Wade, Nova's former customer relations lead, who was part of the 2024 layoffs, believes the new leadership app branch has an entirely different focus now and that Nova Launcher just simply isn't part of it. He told The Verge, quote, it's just some app that they own and no longer feel they need or want. Wade also expressed doubt that Branch would do the right thing and open source the app anytime soon, suggesting they simply don't care unless they face enough pressure from the community and individuals who do care. And that pressure is, in fact, starting to build. Users have started a change.org petition asking for the project to be open source, which Wade did call the great start to apply pressure. While he told The Verge he hasn't personally seen a contract obligating Branch to open source Nova, he believes the community deserves for it to happen and that Branch just simply needs to do the right thing here and honor what, as a company, they've started. So where does that leave us? For now, Nova Launcher's face is in the hands of a parent company that seems to have no interest in its future or its legacy. The best we can hope for is that community pressure does make a difference somehow, some way. This entire situation actually is a somber reminder of what can happen when our favorite passion projects are sold. It happens very often where the spirit that made a project particularly special can get lost in a corporate strategy shift. But what won't be lost is the impact Nova had. It shaped the Android experience for a generation of users and it will always be a legendary part of Android's history. But with that said, I wanna know your thoughts on this whole situation. Have you ever used Nova Launcher before? Do you remember what your experience was making your first home screen for the first time? Do you have any special stories with this app at all? If so, please share down in the comments below as I'm sure myself and the Android community would love to read what you have to say and reminisce about the good old days. With that said, I'm getting out of here, but until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.